Hey, this is Sunil from Times Studies. I teach English, ILTS, interview preparation, and so many more things. But on this YouTube channel, I talk about English language. So in this particular video, I am going to talk about ILTS reading tips and tricks for the people who are uh, trying to achieve band 9. Okay, so the most important tip I always give to my students or to anyone who asks me how to score better in ILTS. And that is the easiest thing to follow, thing to do every day. Okay, there is no price, there is no cost. You can do it for free. Okay, you don't need a coach. And for that, if you have a coach, the coach will tell you to do the same thing. So what is the most important thing to crack ILTS and get band 9? Okay, so that is reading every day. Reading every day. You need to read. You need to read from different myriad sources. Articles online, newspapers, novels, journals are wonderful places to start. Try not to read consciously. And just go with the flow of the text. Read curiously and read for fun. I cannot stress this enough. I have told you that I always recommend reading. Anyone who asks me how to improve English language or how to get a better band in ILTS. This will build your reading stamina, your vocabulary and your reading speed. If there ever was a panacea to cracking the ILTS, it is this tip. This is very, very important. Read every day. It could just be for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 45 minutes, but ensure that you are reading every day. Okay, cool. Next tip, if you are trying to score band 9 in your ILTS test is, you should read the questions first. This tip is a game changer and when it comes to the ILTS, you have 60 minutes to answer 40 questions. Linked to three parts of the ILTS reading section. Time is very very critical in this matter. So you cannot read the text fully and take your own sweet time. Read the questions first. This will tell you what to look for when you get to the passes and save precious time. Okay. Read the questions, then look for the answer. Do it fast in the real exam. But before that, do it so many times at your home, on the way, in the bus, in the restaurant. Read more and more and more. You become expert in something by doing it more and more, not by thinking. If you are thinking about something, you will not become expert in that. If you want to become expert in something, you have to do it every day. Okay. So I have been making videos for a long time. So this video is thousand times better than my first video. Okay. And my videos after a few months will be better. Background will be better. Mic will be better. Everything will be better. Okay. So things happen, things improve over the period of time. Okay. Read the questions first. Look for the answer fast. Next tip for IELTS people who want to score band 9. Okay. It is reread the questions and understand them. Sometimes if we are reading for the first time, we are not able to comprehend the exact thing. So first we have to read quickly. Then we have to reread the question, try to understand exactly what is the essence of the question, what is the demand of the question. A small error in understanding what the question wants can pull you back a long way. Read the questions thoroughly, okay? Read the question carefully. No need to be overconfident. Be confident, be careful, read it twice. Question. Great. Next tip for the people who want to score band 9 in ILTS reading section. That is scan. You know scan? 
we do scan scan the paper or something like that by looking up and down that is scanning then there is a skim then there is summarize these three things are very important when you are trying to score band 9 in ilds skim scan and summarize there is a tip that will work wonders if you follow it up okay skim the pass is given to you and look for main ideas main ideas main ideas understand the layout of the text highlight keywords important points salient features and try to make sense of what the passage is all about this is key when it comes to the reading section so first you have to read the questions reread the questions then look for the answers by scanning so first you scan the text so you know what is there where it is exactly you have some idea where is the answer approximately then you are reading the question then you exactly know i have to search here i have to search there or i have to search here some idea you have in your mind then skim skim means you have to look for some important key combination keywords or ideas focus on them don't read the text entirely once you can read suddenly that is called scanning read it quickly once very very quickly once okay next point next super helpful tip for the people who want to score band 9 in ilds exam is key in the keywords in your head key in the keywords in your head so you have to keep in your mind what are the main keywords some catch points the ilts involves a lot of information hunting questions will ask you to look for specific information and fill in choose the right answers while skimming make sure you highlight keywords with the help of pencil or highlighter pencil most of the times like dates places topics numbers you will learn to recognize them with practice practice read every day practice these are the two keywords in my video today other keywords are scan skim and summarize okay the next super powerful tip for the people who want to score band 9 in ilds is familiarize yourself with various question types and practice so when you are preparing for ilds exam and when you are doing practice for 10 to 15 days you already have idea what kind of questions are coming may come and how to answer them so you already have idea that is the benefit of practice you already have idea how to do that the consensus the consensus among the every dynamic ilts community is that true false not given question types are the worst out there while that may be true for them what will prove to be your bone conversely what type of questions will be you excel at so can you excel at yes no question types or you can only do so with practice tests so practice practice and practice these will help you familiarize yourself with the ilts question types the list can be found above and ensure that you have sufficient practice i will upload the link of practice tests for reading section for ilts the next tip is vocabulary you can improve your vocabulary by reading that exercise itself is a great exercise additionally you, after the reading what you can do is you can highlight the new words or the tough words note them down in your notebook and leave it i'm not asking you to learn them memorize them nothing it happens naturally you just highlight the words note down them if you don't know the meaning of the word try to find it out and leave it don't do anything that's it that is very powerful activity you are noticing the word then you are making a note you are finding the meaning leave it that's it whenever you encounter that word again in the future you will be able to recall the meaning of the word that is the power of this activity okay so reading from a variety of sources about various topics will prove to be better technique okay for you 
when you read articles and content from different genres you are not only building your knowledge but also encountering new words as you progress a sense of grammatically grammatical intuition will also develop so many things you learn naturally your eyes are learning ears are learning your mouth is learning brain is learning so lot of sub unconscious learning is happening okay taking place in your body and mind read learn the words you do not know and keep reading this will work for better than memorizing 7000 new words for the ilts don't try to memorize then don't try to memorize okay make sure you go back and learn the words you did not know in your practice tests as well you can use this as a reference for learning any words you come across okay so if you have a few days for the test approximately 30 to 40 days then you need to have a solid strategy and if you have 6 months do this exercise regularly don't worry about the strategy you will be getting at least band 8 or most probably band 9 okay but you have at least only left uh, 20 30 or 40 days then we need a strategy okay <clears throat> distinguish the ilts text is the last tip for the people who want to score band 9 in ilts test so you will come across texts that can be divided into two broad categories one is descriptive text these texts are chronological in order and are usually full of facts and information about a particular topic example history of the silk road point 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 there are paragraphs in a chronological order what happened first what happened next then there is another type of text that is called discursive these texts are centered around a theory or hypothesis based on the author's research and evidence it may also express certain opinions and put forth some arguments example does meritocracy and economic growth something like that my opinion that is called discursive the reality in chronological order descriptive thanks for watching this video if you have any suggestions if you have any questions related to ilts english language english speaking interview skills feel free to comment on this video join my free english speaking course share it with your friends download android app ios app everything is free for you have a nice time